Well, here we are. <laughs> 10, 10, 20, your wedding day. There's security and safety in the arithmetic of a date. It has a consistency and fits the logical side of the mind. It feels like a good date, one with permanence. 2020 has rarely felt like that. It's largely been a challenge. But through a crashing economy, an election year, social upheaval and social isolation, beauty and solidity emerge. Case in point, here we are, in the middle of the desert, under a serene sky with people you love honoring your lifelong commitment to one another. In a year that's been so challenging, you will have today to know that the hard work you've done on who you are and on your mutual love has paid dividends for the rest of your lives. John, Larissa, we few have gathered here today to honor your love and to celebrate your union. Nico, Geraldine, Luna, Dave, Rachel, and I stand here representing your family and your friends. We hope to embody the love that all of those who can't be here today would communicate. We will sing the song of this day for the rest of our lives. This experience will live in our hearts and we are proud to share it with you. I admire both of you for getting married now. I admire you for working together and aligning your desires through easy and difficult conversations, being honest with one another, and having tough discussions. What's amazing is when I spoke with both of you, you expressed wonder at your partner's patience. John, you talked about how you can be a bit of a spaz. You can run from one thing to the next, frenetically juggling a handful of jobs, hobbies, interests, golf clubs, knives, coffee presses, home improvement projects. Something gets dropped, you bang your head, you get half done and move on. And in these moments when it can feel like too much, who offers a calm word? Who says, hey baby boo, maybe you should take a second or finish this up tomorrow. Come sit down and watch the Padres with me. And Larissa, you told me you get a bit fiery sometimes. You get quiet, a bit distant, and uh, maybe a bit sarcastic. You told me John has been the first man who has worked to understand. He has given you a space to cool down and come back to the conversation. He has tried to validate how you feel and understand how to be a better partner for you. Who else would say, hey Snookums, how about some great British baking show after dinner? We can finish our chat later. I believe that the love and acceptance our partner can show for our foibles often gives us a clue about who we can spend the rest of our life with. Those things in you that you can't stand, how does your partner see them? While we might focus on our flaws, they see who we really are, the person they love, who they only want the best for, and who they have committed their lives to supporting. If you can love in that way, you will succeed. In your backgrounds with friends and family, you have borne witness to the permanence of love. Your parents have been supportive of you. John, yours, are there for you offering their unwavering commitment. So close, too close, almost. You guys spend too many holidays together. For God's sake, you'd come visit home three times every year while you were studying in Singapore. It's time to cut the cord, mate. But of the love of your family, there's no question. And Larissa, your mother and father want the best for you. It seems that mom might sometimes feel like she knows what is best but ultimately she comes around, knowing that the daughter she raised has a plan, has a goal, and has an idea of how to get there despite setbacks. Both of you are lucky enough to have friends and family that have created a model for you, better or worse, on how to start, maintain, and flourish with a family of your own. In the years to come, if children are in the cards, I look forward to admiring how loved that kid is going to be. And that leads us to the future, the one that, will, that you'll live together, forging your dual paths. The one that might be bound by rules with clear plans well laid, well designed, contingencies accounted for, and backups ready to be engaged. Or it might be the one that's a bit more by the seat of the pants, the one that dreams big and is willing to take a chance, where the way it'll work out is unknown. The one that will work because of the determination and willingness to tack, change direction, but keep pushing forward. But either or won't lead to your success. Instead, it'll be in the compromise. It'll be in the, here, you have this one, I'll take the next. Or, let's make this dream come true for you and soon we'll make mine come true. Or perhaps in the conversation on finding the middle ground. It's there, that possibility exists. It takes hard work, 
but you know who your partner is, and you begin this marriage clear-eyed about how to work with your partner. You're a team, and you'll go forward together. At this time, John and Larissa will share their vows. Larissa, I believe in you and the person you'll grow to be. I believe in us and the couple we will grow to be together. With my whole heart, I take you as my wife, acknowledging and accepting your strengths and faults as you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our love and happiness a priority. I will be yours in times of plenty and want, sickness and health, failure and success. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives can bring. You are my person, my love, and my life. This I promise you, today, tomorrow, forever. Babe, I love you. You're so sweet and kind and patient. I need you. Thanks for being my everybody. John, I believe in you and the person you will grow to be. And I believe in us and the couple we will be together. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband. Acknowledging and accepting your thoughts and choices as you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our love and happiness a priority. I will be yours in times of plenty and want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in success. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my person, my love, and my life. These things I promise you today, tomorrow, forever. John, I love you as you are, and I love that you love me as I am. I can't wait to start our life together and build a family with you in a home filled with patience, communication, understanding, fun, and love. From this moment, I take you not only as my husband, but as my best friend for life. I love you. And now this brings me to the fisherman's knot. Well, this type of knot me being a knot expert and all, is fairly simple to tie. It is also one of the strongest. When stress is applied, it becomes stronger. You are the cords of this knot, and as pressure is applied, you come together, secure each other, and keep one another strong. As there are spaces between the cords of this knot, I hope that there is also space for nurturing and encouraging your partner. Dave, could you please give the knot to John and Marissa? I ask that you now pull on this rope to see it strengthen under pressure while still allowing us to see the individual cords, just as you support one another strengthening your union. As you hold one another in mutual concern and shared respect, may you continue holding each other tightly in your hearts and form a strong bond. Let this not indicate the strength of your love and be a symbol of your unity. Larissa, do you take John to be your lawfully wedded husband promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, John, take Larissa to be your lawfully wedded wife, promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live. I do. And now, by the power vested in me by the Clark County, Nevada Marriage Office, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
The rest of us. 